Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be five minutes. Today in the news, well, we're all just over here waiting for State of Play, a lot of other big announcement news is happening in the world of new video games. This morning, we got more information about the newest entry into the Dragon Age franchise with Dreadwolf. Announced back in 2018, the game finally has its title, and it's a pretty good connector back to the tease they gave us then. During the original announcement, they teased that that totally normal and quite fine fellow Solus was returning. Now, as a guy who spent <laughs> 30 some hours in the starting zone, and then the rest of my time trying to romance one specific character, I have to assume, having not beat the game, that Solus turns out to be a pretty chill dude. And this whole Dread Wolf thing is a misnomer, even though I guess it's named after him, but certainly nothing terrible would happen to make it worth being the title of this new game. BioWare's own post goes on to spoil for me. Some say he might be an ancient elven god, but some say not. Others say a betrayer of his people, or a savior who now seeks to rescue them at the cost of your world. His motives are inscrutable, and his methods sometimes questionable, earning him a reputation as something of a trickster deity, a player of dark and dangerous games. So yeah, I probably should beat Inquisition? They did go on to say that the game will be smaller in scope than the previous, thank God. <laughs> it's expected to be more narrative focused, and apparently that's because they scrapped the original version of the game, thanks to the failures of Andromeda and Anthem, which, real talk, sounds great to me. Mass Effect Andromeda and Anthem were games that put giant worlds and stupid gimmicks all ahead of what makes an RPG an RPG, the story. It's a reason I have a problem with a lot of modern RPGs. Everything's just starting to feel like it's a mile wide and an inch deep. So I, for one, am very excited about this. With all the new footage we're seeing and the new images, I I'm really excited about what they're gonna announce later this year. Apparently we're gonna get something big towards the end of the year. I'm very excited for that. Honestly, I'm just happy to have a new Dragon Age, one that isn't trying to be an MMORPG, one that's just a, a normal single player RPG focusing on story. It's what I crave and I'm finally glad we're back to that. In other news, the former Dead Space devs have been working on the Callisto Protocol, but like, what's going on with that? Founded in 2019 by former Dead Space lead Glenn Schofield, the studio Striking Distance has been hard at work at their newest entry into the horror genre. The Callisto Protocol is a story-driven, single-player survival game, but also it was potentially in the PUBG universe, or at least that's what it was set to be, but things have apparently changed according to a tweet from Glenn last month. Either way, this game was gonna be wild. But what we do know from the trailer that was released a few years back is that it definitely looks like a game made by the Dead Space team. It's got the creepy corridors, the terrifying looking alien things, and now we're starting to get a little bit more information about what it is we saw and what we can expect. Some of the other things we already know is that the Callisto in the title refers to one of Jupiter's moons, and it looks like we're in a prison on the moon overrun with aliens? Prison is a scary place, Schofield says, and a prison on Jupiter's dead moon is terrifying. Can't think of anything more desolate and isolated than that. He also later went on to say that he wants it to be the most terrifying game of all time. And while that is a big order, I wouldn't put it past the brains behind Dead Space, one of my favorite horror games of all time. So I can see how they nail this, but still, we don't have a lot of information. 2022 is here, it is June and there's only half a year left, I don't know that we're gonna see it this year. I hope we get more information, I hope we see something new, but will we? Time will tell. And finally, now that people have their hands on it, let's take a look again at Diablo Immortal. We talked about it earlier this week, but Diablo Immortal is causing quite the stir online. Most people discovering what I already told you, that the game is pretty much all about microtransactions. However, the folks over at GameSpot asked the question, can you play it for free? Like, really play it? And the answer is one that is kind of sad, kind of expected, and honestly, makes a ton of sense. They say yes, yeah, no. Essentially, the main story arc of the game can be played without paying for anything. However, the minute you get to end game, it's pretty hard to continue the adventure without dropping some cash. Which I think for anyone who has played 
any gotcha games. Like I've played Raid, I've played the Near game, I played Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. I, I've played a bunch of them. I've tried all of that. And one thing is a constant in them all. To play the story bits, the little chapters they give you, you don't really need to give them money. But if you wanna do all the other content, all the things that make the game, I would say fun, like compete with other players or fight harder bosses or do raids or whatever the case may be, it is near impossible without paying for something. And to that end, Immortal is just like every other mobile gotcha game. It's designed to eventually, no matter how long you hold out, to get your cash. And that after a lot of experience, it's just not for me. You know what is though, here we go, patreon.com slash Jesse Cox, where you can hang out with amazing people like Stephanie Nicholson, SoCal Mac, and Rasmus Old Hoge, Old Hoge, Old Hoge, Old Ho one of them's gotta be right. Anyway, that's it for 5 Minute Gaming News. Thank you all so much for watching and commenting and liking and supporting this show. Share it with your friends, subscribe, hit bells, do whatever makes you happy, and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Bye.